you see a heart rate of 120 and panic, but the real question isn't what the number is, it's why the body's doing it. Tachycardia isn't always the enemy, sometimes it's actually the body's way of keeping you alive. And here's how that works. When something messes with oxygen delivery, like dehydration, blood loss, fever, pain, or early shock, the body actually senses that drop in circulating volume or perfusion. Your baroreceptors, which are those pressure sensors in the carotid arteries and aorta, they immediately signal the brain saying, hey, cardiac output is dropping. So then the sympathetic nervous system kicks in, releasing epinephrine and norepinephrine, which then tell the heart to beat faster and harder. This compensatory tachycardia helps maintain blood pressure and perfusion to the vital organs when volume or oxygen is low. But here's the catch. If the underlying problem isn't fixed, for example, fluid loss, sepsis, or hypoxia, the heart can't keep up forever, and eventually that compensation response fails. You'll see hypotension, weak pulses, or even cardiac collapse. So when you see tachycardia, don't just think that it's a fast heart rate. I want you to think, what is the body trying to compensate for? This is where your real assessment starts. Comment tachycardia down below on my Instagram comments, and I will send you a free cheat sheet on interpreting vital sign changes like a professional.